So today we're going to be talking about the website called Scribd, which is a website for audiobooks and ebooks as well. So what is Scribd? Scribd is an ebook and audiobook subscription service, and it includes over 1 million titles. Um, Scribd hosts 60 million documents on its platform. The company was founded in 2007 by Trip Adler, Jared Friedman, T. Cohn Bernstam, and its headquarters in San Francisco, California. So some of the features on Scribd is that can read over a thousand best-selling ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and even sheet music. You can add highlights and bookmarks to track your progress. So if you find a book you like, you can just highlight it and it will be shown on the website as well. Ebooks can be downloaded for offline access if you'd like to read. And there is no advertisements when you're on Scribd. You can share your Scribd account with up to three other people. So some pros and cons about Scribd is that it's an unlimited audiobook listening. So when you press on the audiobook, you can just get it read to you. It's cheaper than Audible. It has over 100 magazines. It's free app to download. It's compatible with Apple, Android, and certain e-readers. Some cons about Scribd is that you don't own access to the books. Um, there's limitations on accessing popular titles and you don't get the nostalgic paper feel as you would read a normal book. So there is a 30 day free trial to test it out to see if you like it. Um, it's all you can read and listen books and it's $9.99 for US and then $11.99 for Canadian per month after the 30 day free trial. And you can cancel your subscription at any time but for the 30 day free trial, if you enjoy it, you can continue and then pay the monthly fee. If you don't, you can cancel it. So to create a Scribd account from your computer. So the first step is you're gonna to go to scribd.com and then you're gonna click on the sign in at the top right corner of the site and then click on new to Scribd, sign up. And it will lead you to this right here. So then you'll sign up quickly with your either your Facebook account or your Google account, or you can use an email address like right here and then create a password. And then if you don't want to receive any updates from Scribd, you can just click on this little box and you will not receive them. So to activate your free trial, um, you're going to input your information for your payment. To activate it using PayPal, Google Pay, or manually enter your credit card or debit information. And you will not be charged until the 30 days are up. So if you'd like to cancel before that, you feel free. And if you do want to wish to continue, then you can just pay the monthly fee. And then navigating the website. So once you logged in and are browsing, you'll see a search box at the top of the page. You can click anywhere on the search box, type an author's name, a book title, or even keywords. Like if you wanna look up crime, you can just type in crime and it will show related searches to the book, books like crime, and then press enter. And then you would just press it by pressing the magnifying glass here. And then you can browse through different genres or categories and find something that you enjoy to read. So you can choose a book to listen or read. So you would click on a book that interests you, such as this cover here. Um, you can read a bio about it, see some reviews that other people left to see if it's something that would interest you. Um, below it, you will see suggestions for other books that are similar. If you enjoyed the book, you can find something related to it. Um, you can see the duration of how long the audiobook is or the page numbers of the book. Um, and there's even a sample to play. It will just be a sample of the first chapter um, to see if you want to continue reading the book. And then there's an option down here if you'd like to download to the app. You can also save it for later by clicking the bookmark link here. And then you can create a list and add books to your list that you want to read later, or you can share it with friends. 
So you can use Scribd on Kindle. Scribd now supports all Kindle Fire models, including Fire HD and Fire HDX. Um, Scribd is not currently compatible with e-link based Kindle readers like the Kindle Paperwhite or Kindle DX. They don't allow third party applications. You can install the app onto your Kindle and create an account to get access to Scribd. So some questions. Why are some books unavailable on Scribd? Scribd is controlled by an algorithm. It makes certain books unavailable after a certain limit that you cross by using their unlimited service. Um, the books are selected by author, genre, publishers, and popularity, and some interest towards that book. So is Scribd unlimited? Uh, Scribd does offer an unlimited listening subscription, but you're really just borrowing the book for the duration. You do not actually own the book. Uh, when you end the sub subscription, you cannot keep any of the books, whereas if you use Audible, another app, you can still log in and use the app even once you've ended the subscription. So does Scribd have a download limit? Uh, with this app, you can save titles on up to four other devices at a time for offline reading and can open any given title up to six, up to on six other devices. So if you'd like to cancel your subscription, because you decide that Scribd isn't for you or you've already done the trial and it's just not something you're enjoying, you can cancel it through going to your, can through your account settings after logging into the site. And then you can also do a cancellation by sending an email to support at Scribd.com or submitting a cancellation request through Scribd support website. And then you will receive an email that looks a bit like this. So if you do have any more questions, you can visit the support library at support.scribd.com and then it will pull up a page that looks like this. Um, and then you can ask a question by pressing this button down here. Or if you need to change the language, you can press the arrow bar here. So some other e-reading and audiobook websites includes, or includes Audible, Project Gutenberg, Internet Archive, Open Library, Google Books, Smashwords, Many Books, Book Ricks, and Authorama. And some of their logos look like this. So now for the live demo. So once you go on to script.com in the search bar like this, it will bring you to this page. And then in order to sign in or sign up, you would press this button in the top right corner like this. And you can continue with Facebook or continue with Google or sign in with your email. Or if you'd like to sign up, you would press this button down below using the same login method. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you are logged in, the page will look a lot like this. And you can see that at the top, it shows ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, podcasts, sheet music, documents, and snapshots. So you can click on any of those. If you scroll down, you can see titles that you have saved by clicking on the bookmark kind of thing here. And then if you'd like to remove it, you just press that and then press remove. So here's some best-selling books and audiobooks. You can scroll through them or press this arrow on the side and it will show you some of the best-selling books. You scroll down, it will show you current New York Times bestsellers that you can browse. And below here, you can see the rating. This one right here has five stars. You just scroll through that. And then if you go to the top up here, if you need to change the language, you can just choose from any of the languages and change it to that and everything will go to that language. So if you wanna search some categories specifically for eBooks, 
you can just hold your mouse above ebooks and then go down and see there's young adult, there's dystopian, there's personal growth categories, home and garden, mystery, suspense, and then same with audiobook. You can have the same type of categories. And then for magazine, there's different categories like business, news, pets, sports, and recreation. So if I were to go to ebooks, it would bring me some of the books that are best selling books. You can scroll through those. And if I click on, say this one has a good rating, it tells me the author, the game of pages right here. So it has 327 pages, five hours of reading, and it's also available in audiobook. And then it gives you a brief description and then some of the categories it involves, release date, and then if you scroll down, it, if you click this, it will show you about the author and then related to the last thing. So this book is also related to these books. If you enjoyed reading that book, you can look at these books, some related categories if you enjoyed it. And then if you would like, you can read reviews that other people have left. So. Arlene says, it's a little hard to follow the characters involved. I liked the ending. As where Kelly says, great book. It has a great story and a surprising ending. So you can read the reviews to see if that interests you and if you would like to read the book. And then another thing, if you click on audiobook. So if you like books to be read to instead, you can play a sample where it will read you the beginning of the first chapter of the book to see if you enjoy the first chapter. So you don't have to read it, you can have it listened. And then if you do, you can save the book for later or create a list, download to the app or share it. So if you wanna save the book for later, you just simply click. And then if you go into the top right corner, this is your profile. So on your profile, it will say saved. If you click that, the book will appear here. So if you're not ready to read it, you can just press the little bookmark and then it will save it to your profile. Some other features on your account will be language, uploads, script perks. Um, if you do, if you press your account, it will show you your email. If you would like to change your password, you can do so, your full name, your username. And if you need to make changes to your profile or edit it, you can just press this. Or if you'd like to change email notifications, if you don't wanna receive any notifications from Scribd, you can press this button right here. And you can also view your reading history. So yeah, so if you'd like to just search a genre like crime, you just type it into the search bar and then it will show up titles but related to the genre. So thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just put them into the chat.